Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm just going to show you the products that I'm going to be using in this video. They're all glitter bells. This one's called White Satin, which is quite, there's no glitter in that, that's come from these, but there is a slight shimmer. Then there's Queen of Opals, which is quite chunky. It's got some chunky flakes in there. Oh, that is absolutely gorgeous. And then Opal Crush. And this one is a finer glitter. Absolutely beautiful. So they're from Glitter Bells and from Glitter Arty Nails. I've got these little flowers that come in a case with 240 flowers and they do different color ways so you can have the case of pinks or the case of um i think maybe oranges i'm not not sure just go on their website and check them out and then i'm going to use these opal crystals i'm not sure where i got these from because i buy crystals from blue street crystals tmbl and glitterati mm, got some different sizes there Okay, so that's what I've used to create this set. And I'm using Glitter Bell's Extreme Length Tips and their Effortless Adhesion Glue. And when you're putting tips on a client, sometimes if you take your eye off the ball, when their hand that you've already done comes back to you for you to cut your tips down, this is what happens and it is so frustrating and so annoying. Here it is, that. <laughs> one missing and one on all skew with. So just keep, keep their hands where you can see them so you know what's going on. This is the white satin and I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fade the glitter back so I don't want this all the way, I don't want a full cover, it just, just at the cuticle and then just to bring it down and take it just about halfway down, which that wasn't really reaching as far as I wanted it to, so I just kept adding. You can do that and you can just keep adding as much as you want till you've got what you want. I'm putting an opal crush down at the bottom. I've given up now, top and bottom. I can never remember to say it the way everyone else does. To me, that free edge is the bottom and the cuticle is the top. So I'm fading that up. And I'm gonna put some flakes on top. Well, they're not flakes, they are the opal, uh, the queen of opals pre-mix glitter which has got some of the chunky flakes in it I absolutely love that but all the opal stuff is all my favorite anyway I absolutely love opal and I love that opalescent effect which is I suppose a bit like mother of pearl actually I don't think it's anything like mother of pearl <laughs> I think it's completely different. And this is a full nail of the white satin. Just wanted a bit more opacity. Around there, push the little thing back into its socket, and then the pinky is the same as the index. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do. And if you like the video, hit the like. I am always so grateful for any support at all, so thank you for that. So now we're going back with the glitter. And then 
on with the Queen of Opals. I've listed everything I've used in the description box below and I've put all the websites, all the links are there for you. And this is the cutout to put the flowers in. The picture and the video doesn't really do it justice because they really did look like little flowers in a glass cabinet or a little glass case. I love that look. So I'm doing the edge of the cutout first, then the cuticle bead, and I am going to file, I, I file it off camera, but I do file the edge of the cutout just to make sure it's nice and crisp. But I did forget that I was doing the other part of the cutout down at the tip of, or the free edge of the nail. So I filed the top part first, and then went and did the second half of the cutout and I hadn't even capped the other nails normally I would cap them before I file anything but I completely forgot so the top half is now filed and then I'm just adding to the bottom and then I will cap the others before I put the glitter and the flowers into the cutout part. So that's now capped. Well, it's about to be. And now for the glitter in the cutout. So that's the opal crush first. In fact, I don't think I used the Queen of Opals in there at all. I just put the Opal Crush on. I loved the I loved these nails. I really loved the look of them. different view there. It's actually the same view from the other way around. <laughs> Little leaves. And a flower. Oh, that is so cute. I love them. A bit of clear. Because I'm going to put another flower on there. And I want to separate the two flowers with a layer of clear. So there will be the glitter working from the bottom up, the glitter, flower, clear, flower and then clear obviously on top to cap it all in. And a bit of clear there to put a leaf on. There's the little leaf. And now to cap over it, get it all sealed in there. Oh, look at them in there, those little flowers. I love them. Make sure I've got enough clear on there because I absolutely do not want to be filing into those flowers. And when I filed, I stopped the video and then I didn't realise that I hadn't started it again until I got to the buffing and I thought, oh, the video's not even on, it's not recording. So I just got the tail end of the buffing, just smoothing them off a bit. Oh, and I didn't, I didn't um, record the top coat. I stopped it again 
went and cleaned everything up, cleaned up the hand, the red iguana silicon hand that I'm using, and then forgot again to put it back on for the top coat. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you like the finished result as much as I did. And don't forget to subscribe, like the video if you liked it, and I look forward to next time. Bye.